right, so we're turning our attention now to football on the Sportsmax Zone. The award ceremony for the 2023 Trinidad and Tobago Secondary School Football League SSFL was held early on Thursday at the Cooper Point Lisa's Chamber of Commerce. Trophies and medals were handed out to senior boys champions of Fatima College and girls national intercall champions Pleasantville Secondary. We have bites and sounds from the ceremony. So this year we are celebrating the 60th anniversary of the secondary school football league. In 1964, we have started just around with about 10 schools. And in 2024, we have 100 plus schools involved with over about 8,000 players. Sometimes I wonder if we really understand the magnitude of the work done by the SSFL. Because right now, the truth being told, it's the only competition at this point in time that facilitates for so many student athletes throughout the length and breadth of Trinidad and Tobago. You are a student first, and you are an athlete after. But when you merge the two of them together, you get a marriage that is so significant and potent and powerful. The magnitude of it stands alone to let you know that as long as you understand the importance of your academics, and you work it with the talent that will have blessed you with, then the sky will be your limits. Football is number one in Trinidad and Tobago in terms of participation, in terms of reach throughout the grassroots. Sports in the modern world is central to the academic, educational, and holistic development of youth and young people. The secondary schools, football league, is the brilliant ground for great Trinidad and Tobago football. It has been that from time ever. In Tapal, while the secondary school football league came into being in 1964, in Tapal was played since 1920. So it's not a number of Back in 2017, when Sportsman Express began their partnership with secondary schools football, we were happy to be a part of the whole list, not to mention one of the best structured college football leagues in the region and to be given the opportunity to play our part in the continued growth and development of the league. The sports and access coverage of the league is second to none and we put all into our broadcast with no compromise. Over the past seven years we continue through our parent community itself to ensure that we have connectivity at every school ground and stadium we broadcast from and every year we try to build on the previous as, it's, as it pertains to the matches and coverage. On behalf of the citizens, it is my pleasure to offer congratulations to all of you for participating in one of the most exciting leagues of local football. Over a decade, we have been front and center of the SSFL action. Our involvement has allowed us to witness firsthand the growth of many talented footballers from their beginnings their professional careers. This approach of investing in youth in sports has not been unique to football. Rather, it has been historically synonymous with our brand and has been a proven model of success across various sports. Coca-Cola remains committed to the development of football internationally as our brand continues to support various football programs, tournaments and bodies in all markets that we offer. And here at Home and Trinidad to be able to some different. Coca-Cola once again pledges our commitment to remain our to remain a proud title sponsor for the Coca-Cola Boys, Girls and Intercol and a contributing partner of the secondary schools football league for the 2024 season and beyond. Right. Congratulations, of course, to both the schools that walked away 
as winners. Team, you know, we heard from Brian Lewis just now and he spoke about the importance of the SSFL when it comes to the development of football in Trinidad and Tobago. And I always say it starts at the grassroots level, it starts at the school level. So I think I really endorse what he says there. We heard from our own Kerry Gibbons from Sportsmax. He also spoke about our involvement in the SSFL and I think that's something I'm very, very happy about. Um, learning about sports, Max, had a lot to do with my involvement, you know, in sports and with the, the big market that sports, Max, has when it comes to Trinidad and Tobago. I know growing up, everywhere I would go, and even up till today, sports, Max, would be on the channels all across the country. And I know we have a big market when it comes to Trinidad and Tobago. So I'm happy that, of course, you know, we could play our part here to develop the football in Trinidad and Tobago for quite some time you know we've been talking about everything except on the field issues we've been talking about normalization committee this that but now you know we're moving forward and I think the SSFL will have a big part to play when it comes to developing future stars of the game and the thing is the fact that it's being broadcast as extensively as it is is setting a platform for the development of the sport in the sense of I think the benefit of the Sportsmax involvement in the SSFL will begin to bear fruit in many years to come. Yes, it is good now that it is, it is happening, but I think the, the benefits and the spin-offs will become more impactful in, in the years ahead when people recognize um, how far-reaching their, their talent can be viewed globally. But I just want to add to that because, you know, you speak about the long-term um, benefits, but I think just right now, because it's so easy for the players to go on our YouTube page, get footage of themselves, that's, that's so important because for quite some time, without our coverage of certain competitions, these video footage were not readily available. And I speak to some of the players. Um, I can talk about the JPL here in Jamaica because when I interview the players and I say, so do you have any footage of yourself? Well, you know, everything is on Sportsmax. So, you, so basically I can go find it myself. But I think it's, it's just a sigh of relief because for me, this is available. You no longer have to sit down and hope that you can just record some amateur footage with your phone. Sportsmax has presented that platform for these youngsters. So the world is here. theirs for the taking because now you take this professional footage, you know, those that follow us on YouTube, and I'm talking about the scouts and the big competitions and everything, they can just type the player's name, Ricardo. And yeah. they, they find them. And it's top-class footage. Yeah, very much the case. It's important. And I think... Also, um, not to be forgotten, ceremonies like these are so important for the youngsters because as a youngster, yes, you perform on a stage and you do well, um, but it's extra special when you get the opportunity to go to a ceremony that is dedicated to you and to your performances um, and, and hear your name being called or the name of your school and just getting the opportunity to walk up and receive your medals or trophies or whatever the case might be and trust me take that from someone who played high school sport I got one opportunity to do that with Calabar when we won an under 19 cricket title in 2005 and I promise you guys it's a real special feeling yeah all right well you Mariah know. says yeah like yeah I, I have wish. trophies <laughs> um hello you mean, I have... you mean Christmas trophies no I have actual trophies from what, like what sports type of trophies? in school modeling no, Ricardo, from like sports day in school when Lime I was and spoon oh, you, mean, you mean you mean when you, you made charisma run for you? No, that was another time. But it was another time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's a true but that's a true story. Yeah. Of course it is. She told us herself. It's <laughs> okay. embarrassing. It's not. That's all the time we have for to, for this part of the segment. But of course, you know, coming up next we have Lance Whitaker and he'll be at the track. <laughs> Oh,